Data is built on this fundamental principle that if you want to go from journey mapping to management and make impact on the customer experience together, you need to create a consistent way of working, but also a consistent structure to the way you manage that experience. To do this, we've found that there's only four elements really that make up any customer journey and that make up any customer-centric workflow. I'm going to take you through them one by one. So in Daydo, the four building blocks for journey management are insights, opportunities, solutions, and metrics. So your insights are the way that you capture your customer insights from your research and your analysis, and you link them to your customer journeys. The second thing you want to do is in every customer journey, look for the opportunities, the customer problems rephrased as business opportunities in a consistent manner, because one journey is not another. And we found that if you do not have a way to communicate and connect the dots across journeys, you will fail to set up a process and opportunities allow you to surface the relevant information across your journeys in a consistent manner. Now, the third building block are solutions and solutions can be seen as existing solutions like features, content, maybe email communication or any basic touch point you have with the customer, but also the processes that you have in place that sit beneath the customer touch point or the step in the journey. The other way to think about solutions are, hey, if we have an opportunity, what are the new solutions we're going to bring to the market? And how does that link to our project management, our product management efforts, and who's doing what? And the fourth building block for any customer journey are metrics. What do we measure from CX metrics like MPS or CSAT all the way to performance metrics like your conversion rate on a specific step? So what we found is that these four building blocks make up for your customer journeys. Now, let me show you what I mean. So here we would have a mobile subscription journey where people are buying a mobile subscription. Now we've split up the experience from two personas. And what you would see is that we have an overall MPS that we measure and we would have a checkout flow that we measure in customer effort um, expressed. So those two metrics are high over how this journey is performing currently. So those are your metrics. Then if we look down, here's what we call insights. And insights, to set up a repository and structure that is something we'll show you in another video. But these insights are actually captured across your customer experience. So this is a pain and it's still an assumption, but the impact on experience is significant for two personas. So by building out this muscle, and as you can see, this insight is not only coming for this journey, but it's linked to many journeys. Building up this muscle will help you to create consistency in your insights and to create continuity for anyone in your business to understand what the customer experience is like. So here we have metrics and insights. And the third building block we see here are current solutions. And like I said, they can be features like comparing the mobile subscription change when you have a travel plan, for instance, or maybe there is a plan type like unlimited everywhere where you can actually select that. Those are the existing solutions that we have in place for this customer experience. And by piecing this together, you create a system of record that anyone can contribute to. Now, the fourth building block are opportunities. And this is where it gets interesting because we know people struggle to understand pricing and the team has created an opportunity to reduce the pricey bill shock. Now, in this journey, this might be the most important opportunity to focus on. It has a high customer value and a high business value if we get it addressed. But if I would now go to my opportunities in the workflow of this journey, I could see a different picture. So what I do is I focus on my opportunities for this journey and I can look at it from different angles. Let's say I do it on a customer and a business value. I see the reduced pricey bill shock has a big impact and I want to focus on that. But where the four building blocks for your customer journeys help you to do this at scale is when you start to compare multiple journeys. So if I would now look at this journey, I would say the pricey bill shock opportunity is the one I want to focus on and start tracking solution progress against it. So maybe we're doing something with it. But if I would go one level up, I think about the whole awareness stage where people become aware of that they might need a new mobile subscription. And there's a lot of journeys. So these are journeys actually in your framework. I might be able to see another picture when I look at all the opportunities from these journeys. So now when I look at my overview, 
improve the information overview is the actual most valuable inf uh, opportunity from a customer and a business perspective to address. So here you can see using the building blocks in your journeys across all journeys will allow you to go one level up and bring it to the strategic table in your organization and to start looking at all the opportunities in a consistent way, look at the solution efforts that are spread across the organization that we're working on, and then build the customer experience muscle of your organization. So in a nutshell, they do is not only bringing your journeys in a consistent manner, but we would also bring your problem discovery, solution discovery, and solution delivery workflows together using the same elements. Now, in most organizations, this is fragmented. Problem discovery happens by one team, solution discovery maybe by another, and then delivery is on the agile teams or the sprint teams or the product teams. And it's not really one system where everything flows. So with they do, putting your journey and connecting the dots will allow you to create a system that is a continuous evolvement of insights, opportunities, solutions, and metrics all across your customer journeys.